A year ago, myself and my family took part in the Live Happily 7-Day Challenge, where for seven days we could only consume produce that we knew the origins and exact ingredients of. Although challenging to begin with, the whole family soon became involved in sourcing produce to use and in planning meals that we could all share together as a family. The benefits soon became evident as we all sat together in the morning to have breakfast and talk about our day ahead and in the evening sharing our evening meals together rather than sort of rushing around and to talk about how our day has been. Uh, we then made our lunches ready for school and work the next day so that we could continue the Live Happily Challenge wherever we were during the day. And the children learnt the importance of knowing where their food had come from, from field to plate, knowing exactly where their food had come from, what animal it had come from, and knowing the ingredients of everything that they were eating. The alarming thing for me was discovering the misleading labels on supermarket produce. Um, products labelled as British but grown in another country and then imported across the world, but because they were packed in Britain, they were labelled as British. A year on, however, we continue to buy as local as possible and to support British farmers as much as we can. We continue to only buy traceable and transparent produce, and we definitely place a greater value on the provenance of the food that we eat. Building relationships with the local producers goes further than just a purchase. It builds up the trust between producer and consumer so that you know exactly what you're buying and they know that they're giving you a good service. Living happily will encourage you to appreciate and enjoy your food, valuing and knowing the ingredients of every product on your plate. It will invite you to eat and drink better and enable you to consume your food with a conscience. We can work together through this difficult period and take time to achieve a sustainable Great Britain.